running show. It uh, it certainly was, and uh, all sixteen of those men that were sworn in served our nation in the military. So uh, we thank them for their service and look forward to their service with the city. Absolutely. What does that do to the ranks of the fire department now in terms of staffing? Well, it's as you probably know, in both the police and fire, we have incrementally increased the personnel over the last several years. Uh, what happens is you get retirements all the time, so you, you're never at full staff. Mm. Um, you're constantly chasing your tail a bit. But we're at the highest level of both departments in, in a long, long time. So that means uh, think the job is much safer for the guys. For example, that Liberty Street fire a few weeks back, that would have been a 4 or 5 alarm fire uh, 15 years ago. And, you know, the, the alarms relate not so much to the apparatus but to the manpower. So, um we don't have the kind of injuries we used to have. But the uh, job is much safer because the amount of manpower it does make a big difference. So, uh, obviously, they're, they're here to serve the city and in so many different capacities uh, and uh, do a nice job. So, uh, we want to keep this, the levels to a point where both the men are safe but also provide excellent service to the people of Quincy. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, in uh, no time is it more evident than in times when we have major storms like the one we're having right now. Yeah, the lovely nor'easter. <laughs> we waited all winter for this, right? <laughs> I don't know if I was waiting for it, but it was, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it was indeed, and uh, March is one of those miserable months anyway. But I know the western part of the state's getting clobbered right now with the white stuff. So uh, we're fortunate right now that it is rain at this point, and let's hope it stays rain for as long as it can. Yes. What uh, what kinds of preparations are happening in the city, just in case? Oh, the typical preparations. I mean, the DPW's operations in full swing. Uh, you know, sanders and plows ready to go. Uh, Department of Natural Resources, um, you know, obviously the tree division, forestry division, they're in good shape, prepared equipment ready to roll with these winds. I'm sure we're going to have a number of issues with limbs. Uh, and, of course, we're in touch with National Grid. We just encourage people, again, if there's a wire down, uh, please stay away from the wire. You don't know if it's a phone wire, cable wire, or power. Most people, a lay person, can't necessarily tell the difference. So stay away from it and call the uh, call 911, and they'll send someone to make sure National Grid gets that reported. So um, so just uh, bear with us. Uh, hopefully we're not going to get too much snow. I know that we're supposed to turn over late morning, uh, noonish. It'll be a while before it sticks, and then once it starts sticking, I think they're talking a few inches in our area. So that's I'm sure we can handle that. Any uh, anticipation of uh, flooding problems? Well, we have the tide gates down um, because of the anticipated high tide. Uh, I believe tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow's tide is supposed to be worse, but there'll certainly be a splash over. Yeah. But I don't think there'll be any, um, you know, too crazy as far as um, flooding of basements and things. We're, we're monitoring it. So again, the DPW is on top of that as well. Yeah, I remember... Uh, 2017, I think it was, that uh, section of the willows there got cut off down mm-hmm. down the neck. But I think it was 18, but yes, okay. that, was, that was a mess. Um, but there's been seawall work since then, is that right? Indeed. Yeah. Um, quite a bit of seawall work between Marymount and I'm sure into the neck, and we are now working on the next phase. Can we talk a little bit, Mayor, about uh, some plans to make some pretty big improvements up at Pageant Field? Sure. As, as you know, uh, Joe, Marymount Park is really a gem in our park system. And uh, Pageant Field really is the gem of Marymount Park. I mean, it's a magnificent spot. It gets a ton of use, uh, both from sports, whether it's girls' softball programs, cross country track, um, you know, football, soccer. It's great utility up there. Plus, a lot of passive use as well. So it's, it was, it's been tied over the years. So we are now upgrading it. For Replace the pavilion, doing some improvements to the restroom building, uh, turf improvements, moving a diamond uh, further over. I remember Peter Boyce and Adams used to visit, and uh, he never liked the look of the back of the backstop when you come up the road. Mm. Uh, but we're making some really nice improvements. The turf will be done over. Some nice thinning of, of some of the overgrowth of invasive species, so you get a better view of the water. It's obviously... Uh, you're on high ground, but you're looking down at Black's Creek and out into Quincy Bay. It's really a magnificent spot. So Dave Murphy and his team are doing a great job doing upgrades and 
and uh, the goal is to be ready for Flag Day, Joe. Oh, okay. I was going to ask about that. <laughs> if you're going to start... You should do it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course, uh, thousands of people uh, for that event. Um, but this is a great time of year, actually, to get up there because with no leaves uh, on the trees, you, the water view is just so expansive. It is pretty cool. Uh, you're looking down into the creek, Pine Island, uh, across the uh, across the creek to the Quincy Shore Drive area and Caddy Park, and then, of course, uh, you, if you look close enough, you can catch Boston Light in certain angles as well. At the lighthouse in Boston Harbor, so it is. A, it is a magnificent spot. Because a day like this, you you wouldn't want to be up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's windy on a good day. Never mind today. <laughs> so true. Uh, but I read also plans maybe for an irrigation system. Is that right? Yes, we'll be irrigating the, the site as well, which allows the park department to maintain the turf at a much higher level. So when you get the various sporting activities and you know it, obviously natural wear and tear yeah uh when you have the cleats and people running around so this allows you to bring it back uh, more uh, quickly and efficiently uh by having the irrigation so it's something that we th- thought about for a long time but you know it's only do so much a year with budgets so uh, right. i'll be glad to do these upgrades here yeah is the, is the funding in place for that the funding is in place correct and this does not, we should point out, I know we've talked about this before, but it does not uh, include anything happening to the amphitheater. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, the amphitheater is a discussion that was brought up, I believe, by uh, Commissioner Murphy to the Park and Rec Board based on concerns about some of the younger kids um, kind of scaling that back wall um, and potential serious injury by falling. It hasn't had the use it used to have 20, 25 years ago. Hmm. Uh, you know, when Joe Larray was around, the former mayor, he, mm-hmm. he used to run the Wednesday nights, I think it was, um, you know, concerts up there. So uh, that has pretty much shifted for the last several years, particularly the last 10 years, up to Quincy Center. Uh, Hancock Adams Common, there's programs at Kilroy Square. And, um, you know, the, the square is just such a, a Quincy Center area, downtown square, whatever you call it. You know, it has different names. Right. Uh, but it's really become the heart of the city, and it's such a beautiful venue that that's where most of the programs are being held. So I think the Park Department was concerned about some injuries there. It doesn't get the use uh, it used to. Therefore, should they repurpose it for other recreational uses? So that's the board has put that on hold because uh, some folks stepped up and were concerned about that. So I think they'll they'll probably have some further discussions, maybe a community meeting, uh, before they make any kind of a final decision. So that does not include amphitheater uh, is not included in the improvements we're talking about right now. Okay, very good. It's important to point that out because uh, you'll be inundated again if we don't. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anything else on your mind this morning, Mayor? I don't think so. Let's hope uh, the stays mostly rain. Yes, indeed. I'm uh, <laughs> crossing all fingers and toes and <laughs> doing novenas to that effect. <laughs> Enjoy well, your day, Mayor. You're welcome. Thanks, Thank so. you. Bye-bye.